Alright guys, today I'm going to be showing this really cool card trick um, that you can actually do anytime, anywhere um, with any deck. So anyways, this is what it would look like. So you could go ahead and have your spectator pick a random number, let's say maybe between like 10 and 20, and let's say they want to pick a number like 16. So you can go ahead, you say, alright, so you pick 16, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16. Now from that random number that you gave me, I'm going to go ahead and mix this trick up a little bit more and we're going to add up the integers in 16. That's going to give us 1 plus 6 equals 7. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm going to tell you guys right now before I show you between the two random numbers that we got, we got 16 and then we got 7. This card that we happen to stop at is going to be the 4 of diamonds. So here's the card guys. And this is a trick, and if you want to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. Alright, so the good part about this trick is that it's actually super simple, it's self-working. Um, you might have seen this on the Howcast channel a long, long time ago. Um, the only reason I kind of wanted to upload this video was just to test out this new camera. I don't know if you guys could tell the difference, but I did get a new camera and some different audio stuff, so I just want to make sure this is kind of like a test run video um, for the new stuff. So go ahead and put that in the comments below if you'd like this or not. Um, anyways guys, this is the rest of the video. So essentially you have nine random cards. It does not matter what cards these are. These are just completely random. And then you're going to take one card that you're going to remember and you're going to put this in the tenth position of the deck. So you put this random card, let's say the four of diamonds, the same one from the performance. You put that on top of the deck. You stick the next nine random cards. You put those on top of the deck as well. So now their card or this card is going to be in the tenth position. So from here you can go, you can talk to the spectators, you can tell them that you want to, uh, you know, go ahead and have them pick a card between 10 and 20. So all you did here, just some false shuffles just to make it look like, you know, you're mixing up the deck a little bit. And then the spectator is going to pick a number 10 through 20. Now, this isn't going to work if they pick the, uh, the number 10 or 20, so they have to pick 11 through 19. So you could tell them to pick 11 through 19, but it would seem a little bit odd. Uh, for the most cases, spectators aren't going to pick 10 or 20. They're going to pick a number in between. So let's say they were to pick a number, uh, maybe, maybe number like 18. So you have the card. It's in the 10th position, and they say the number 18. So you go ahead. It's self-working. You deal out 18. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So from here, you pick it up, and then you remind the spectators that they picked that random number just to make it look like I know the trick is more random than it really is. And then you say, all right, let's go ahead and mix this up a little bit more. And here's where you add the integers, 1 and 8. So you get 9, and the ninth card is going to be that 4 of diamonds. So you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then when we get to the ninth card, this is going to be theirs. So what you can do um, before you start the trick, so like I said, guys, this is the 4 of diamonds. But uh, to make the reveal a little bit better, what you could do if you want is write down um, the card on a piece of paper, hide that, or give it to the spectator to hold, tell them you have a prediction. So before you start the trick, ask them to hold the piece of paper, and that piece of paper is going to have the four of diamonds written on it. So let's go ahead and pretend that we did that. We would pretend that we wrote down a piece of paper. I gave that to you guys, the spectator. I said, well, we'll open this up at the end of the trick. So then from here, before you reveal the top card, you say, all right, the spectator, go ahead and open up the piece of paper. They can open it up. They see it's the four of diamonds and the next card in the ninth position is going to be the four of diamonds. So this is the trick, guys. I hope you guys like it. It's super simple. I know I just kind of wanted to give this camera a test run, see if you guys liked it. Um, anyways, this is all for this video. If you haven't subscribed, you should do that if you want to. Um, anyways, guys, for the rest of you, as always, thanks for watching. She's a literal vampire.